This part of Gex 2, or Gex Enter the Gecko, has been brought to you in part by I'm a Lazy Shit Industries. Because goddammit, I should have had this part up weeks ago! Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play Gex Enter the Gecko. I'm Hunter, the one who is there fair and a polar bear, reluctantly saying that catchphrase. And in the last part, we or I or whomever, hopefully me, otherwise this is going to be an issue, uh, completed the second and last space channel level painting the asteroids, I believe. And in this part, we're going to be doing not this Resopolis level. Due to a suggestion from a user seen on screen uh, in a bit, because, you know, pause screen is kind of obnoxious and in the way, we're going to tackle something else. And we're saving the Resopolis levels until the last part. Uh, as well as that last bonus level, because, yes. Anyway, thanks to this user on screen here, we are going to be going down a bit in quality. My pail's gonna kick your butt. I mean, a bit, I mean, Jesus. To the N64 as we tackle that version's exclusive level. And then in the next part, we're doing the PlayStation version's exclusive stuff, and then the finale will be Resopolis. All but Resopolis. Only Resopolis, nothing but. Anyway, please ignore the frame rate. May or may not be the recording. I'll explain that momentarily. But yes, in this part, we are going to be doing the Titanic level Gek Gusto. Yes. So basically, the, uh, the idea of this level is that, in exchange for most stages, also, don't mind the fact that I select to find the end of the cave and it's showing the Titanic mission screen. I did that, so... Yes. Also... Yeah, so, in exchange for taking out most of the levels and voice clips and a bunch of other stuff, they put this level in instead. Which is the only water level in the game. And I hate it. So you're probably wondering, why, why was the Titanic remotes uh, intro played in front of the thing when you select a funny end of the cave? Because, let's face it, I wanted to at least have something remarkable going on. At least I wanted to give some credit to this level because I don't know if you know this, but I, I already said it, I'm not a big fan of this level. But basically, what I'm going to be doing in this episode in particular, because I don't want to sit and watch this water level for as long as you people probably don't want to either, I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. By a lot of editing, and I mean I'm going to be cutting about the mission so that they... They call him Flipper, Flipper. Flipper. So that they flow. So we're not doing that one yet because that's the cave bit. Uh, so I cut past all that footage and I'm going to reuse that footage later in the part so you can see, like, the playthrough of the, you know, the thing. Yes, so I think also because of that, I cut past most of the item collecting. Uh, so let me go over that quickly because I'm not going to be really doing much else. Uh... For that, I'm not gonna. Usually, I would show like every single item I'd pick up, but uh, I I don't care about this level that much, which is why I'm going to the extreme lengths to edit around most of it, so that the part is at least somewhat digest digestible. But yeah, the first thing you collect is starfish, and the second thing you collect is treasure chests, and the last thing I think you collect is uh, God, I can't even tell. I think it's pearls. I believe it's pearls. You'll see. I'll be corrected on it when it happens. All you know, it's the usual 30, 40, 50. So, Tara. Also, get they used to the fact. Get used to the fact that one, that life bar is going to be at the top of the screen for a good bit because I'm not good at the swimming controls. That or the swimming controls suck. And two, get used to re Gex repeating a lot of the same lines because, as I mentioned before, the N64 version cut out a lot of stuff. That they put in tutorial boxes, so don't worry, we're okay, kids. Um, so the reason why I was, you know, I was going to do a more in-depth comparison, but I wasn't really feeling in the mood to do so. Perhaps if, um, the feature, as I understand it, allows you to append other videos onto videos without losing the statistic data of that video... Maybe I'll do an addendum to this, where I actually go in depth of some of the more finite details, but really the only major difference that's on display is this level, and the lack of every other level that I mentioned previously. So, yay. So that's basically about it. 
As to where I've been, remember at the uh, light in the last part I said, uh, I wouldn't let Kingdom Hearts 3 consume my life while well, I kind of accidentally did. Oops. But at the very least, I'm recording this now, and I'm not facing the microphone properly, which is probably screwing up a lot of the audio quality. Let me just shimmy myself over here. Hi, how's it going, people? That's probably a bit better. I'm still not used to recording this way, so... It is just the thing. Hey, look, it's the love boat. Get it? Because that was a show. <laughs> Man. You just keep on those references, Gex. And I don't know why I'm going through these rings, even though, you know, I do that again in another cut later. Listen, okay, I, I edited a bit, but I'm also in a bit of a rush because I kind of want to, you know, finish recording and I took another hit. I told you, get used to seeing that life bar at the top. Yes, I was right. I was, well, I was half right. Okay, am I just gonna have to call the part that now? Because I actually wanted to call the part something else, but uh, considering he's been repeating that voice clip a lot, perhaps it's gonna be that. So, yeah. Also, not sure if this is just me, my copy, or my N64 or what, but, uh... Assuming, uh, you get a collectible, sometimes the music just stops existing. So that's pretty neat. I want to say it's probably just my copy, or my N64, or something. I don't know. The music just cuts out. Also, this camera is great. You like the texture on that boat, kids? I bet you do. Ah, jeez. I did not want to get on the turtle, but I did anyway, because I'm an idiot and a fool. Go back on that turtle. So yeah, causing another music thing to occur is what brings the music back. That's evident by that. So that's great. Yeah. My name is Kane. I seek water. Mm-hmm. Sure you do. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this level, and I'm not sure if it's just me. I say that because I recorded this level only a few months ago, before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, and uh, I hadn't played X2 in like years, literally years. When I recorded that footage, that footage I mentioned, the previous parts footage, uh, yeah, that was recorded in uh, late 2016. So, you know, I'm not joking. It's been a while since I played Gex 2. <laughs> As a result of that, um, I think my playing skills are a tad rusty. That or the N64 version just sucks. Okay, yeah, no, that's definitely what the part's being called now, because this is the third time he said it within the span of a couple minutes. Jesus. Okay. So yeah, let's enter the iceberg that sunk the goddamn ship to enter the ship. Because the ship got submerged in the iceberg? I guess? And also, you can probably tell by the way I'm expertly swimming through and hitting specific parts that I've recorded this before, or attempted to at least, and yes, this is my third attempt at recording that level. Yes, my third. The reason being is that the first couple parts took way too goddamn long. And even then, still, this part's nearly half an hour of just this footage. So, good times. Not a fan of this level. Ah, oh, jeez, yeah, no. Um... Not a, My tail's gonna kick not your a big fan of the swimming controls, like, at all. I can't overstate it enough, which is why I'm going to repeat the same point over and over. Thus, disproving my point of overstating. I'm pretty sure I know what I was saying there. But yeah, it took me three attempts to do this. I think the first couple times, there was intense audio crackles. And I think there's still a few here, which you'll probably hear in this area, because god freaking damn. And also, I don't know, I wasn't just happy with the way I was recording. And, uh, a bunch of other factors, really. So that's a thing. But yeah. I'm not recording this. Funny thing about this, too, right? I actually have means of using my new capture card to record orbital consoles, because I actually picked up an HDMI, uh, Upscaler, not a, not a really, I haven't really tested it, so I don't even think it's good, but, uh, they call him Flipper, Flipper. four times, but, uh, I have it, so I can probably use it in the future. The only thing is, is that, uh, I was doing, you know, I, for lack of a better term, I recorded 
my reactions to Kingdom Hearts 3's Endgame. And as a result of that, I decided, why not give a capture card test? And I did, and, uh, I'm not sure if it's my laptop, which is, by the way, a new one, for um, reasons that I don't know if I disclosed, but basically I destroyed my old one because I'm a dumbass. Uh, not, not in terms of a software corruption, by the way, just the hardware because I'm dumb. I'm just getting that out of the way now because, you know, off my shoulders, in the, in the public, no, I'm dumb. Just throwing that out there. But, not sure if it's my laptop being unable to process and utilize an HD capture card, or if it's just my, you know, bad luck, or something happened to the capture card, or if it's something I installed that hecked with the codec encoding thing that the capture card uses. What? But it came out entirely staticky, and it doesn't My look name is Kane. the best, I seek as far as I'm concerned. So, meh. Go, go. Okay. But basically, I can use it, and I probably will use it. I just need to fiddle with my capture card a bit more to make sure that it isn't, uh, my luck running out again. I'm gonna get swept away by this water again. You see, this is how you know it's post-commentary, because I called it. So that's basically that. So I don't know if anything after Gex 2 will be arriving immediately because of that. Since I still have a few more kinks, also I may or may not be moving again soon. Depending, I don't know. Uh, I will make an update video at least for one particular thing since I don't want to put it in a LP video that dates it immediately. Um, for something that's coming up near the end of summer, and that's about all I'll say on the matter. And fuck this section. I hate it. I hate it. The music is gonna cut out in here, and you're gonna hate the sound of Gex's tail bouncing off the ground, because that's all that you'll be hearing for, like, the next three minutes after it happens. We're not even underwater, Gex. You don't need to sing that goddamn song. But you're doing it anyway, and I'm following along. Actually, it's this part right here. The music cuts out right here. So I hope you like the sound of tails bouncing, because that's what you're going to be hearing for the next, uh... Ooh, how much left is in this mission? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. uh yes, uh, two minutes. <laughs> so please look forward to that noise. Uh, because that's all you're going to be hearing. I'm not joking. Pardon my tongue, darling. You're just going to be hearing that. Slip of the tongue. Now, I think, I think I proc the quote at some point later on in the video, but, uh, the quote I actually wanted to use for this video was SHARK! Because, you know, shark, and it's funny, but I guess, no, it's gonna be flipper, flipper. Because... Heck my luck. I swear, those are like the only two quotes that Gex has for this level. <laughs> I don't... Actually, no, it's, my name is Kane. I seek water. I think that's the only other one he does. But aside from that, yes. So the goal is to go through the different pipes of the ship and climb it because it is now upward after not being upward. My tail's gonna kick your butt. Because, you know, when the ship cracked, it completely split and one half got stuck in the iceberg and the other half flipped up. I, I don't really believe I should be trying to find logic in this level, but I am. But yeah. Yeah, you know? I don't know much to do, but yeah. You know, a quick history lesson for those who don't know what the Titanic is. The Titanic is a thing that I'm going to look up a little research because it's not the majority of the majority of information I do not know off the top of my head. <laughs> so, the Titanic was a passenger ship that sank on its first voyage, and a well over a thousand people died. So, you know, it would only be the thing that there is so many highly known media material that profits off of the tragedy, like a lot, a lot, like a James Cameron movie, a couple of really shittily animated Italian movies with a sequel to one of them being very strange indeed. I've seen it twice, I should know. And also another sequel, but it's to the James Cameron movie, but it's not official. It's a bootleg. It's a knockoff. It's called Titanic 2. Yes, it's called Titanic 2. Fade cut. Um... So yeah, it's kind of a hecked thing. 
So did I mention that both of those Italian animated Titanic movies have talking animals? Because yes. Yes, both of them do. I'm not I'm not saying three because technically the other one of the, Lip of the tongue. <laughs> similarity is a sequel and it has nothing to do with the Titanic except for maybe a bit at the beginning that carries on after the end of the previous one. I should stop talking about this because it sounds like I know too much and I should probably not know this much, but I do. Uh yeah. That's why I haven't name dropped any of them yet, because I don't wanna I don't want people to watch them. They're bad. Although I will put up a picture of one of them. Maybe. Okay, heck it, why not? Have that have have fun, kids. Enjoy that in your nightmares. Anyway, this is also where the hidden remote is of the level. Unfortunately, I do not get into this run. Of the you know, for the remote, because uh it's in a really fucking annoying place. More so than any of the other hidden remotes, which you can get at a glance by at least spinning the camera around a bit. Um, well, I mean, you kind of can do that here. In fact, I don't even think I touched the C buttons once. Uh, but basically, yeah, so Starfish, and then it's Treasure Chest, and then it's uh, Rose's Pearl, because of course it is. Her name was Rose, right? I've only seen Titanic like once. But I do remember it because uh, there's one part where a dude does a backflip off the rudder and I thought that was the most hilarious thing at the time. Even though as that's kind of fucked up, really. And probably should not be laughing at a tragedy like that, but... I don't know. I look kind of jank. And that happened when I was like... 12. I think. Somewhere around there, anyway. I feel like it was 12 when I saw that movie. I'm twice that age now, and then some, so that's, uh, that's a sign of the times. <sighs> anyway, um, while well, we're sort of not really even close to on the topic of it, even though I think this is the only major difference, there's the one I was looking for, even though this is the only major di no, I'm not editing the audio, I'm not boosting the around. you can hear it clearly, I don't, I don't feel like I need to, that and I'm lazy and I hate this level. Even though I think this is the only major difference of the N64 version from Gex 2, uh, there's a similar case with the N64 version of Gex 3, wherein one of the levels that does exist got a complete redesign, and as far as I can tell, is probably a better version of that level. And I think I've mentioned it before, but if I have it, it's the Mythology Network level. You know, the one I hate so much in Gex 3? Yeah, no, the better version of it is in the N64 version, go figure. Presumably because it came out after or before. I'm gonna check that now. And the best thing about this microphone is that you can hear my clickety clackety hee 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 board. So, uh, let me see. The N64 version of Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko came out, yes, it was after. Um, about half a year after, I wanna say. Yeah, no, half a year. So, that's a thing. I look forward to, you know, eventually finding a copy of that, playing it, and. Showing that off because I do I do plan to make a Gex 3 bonus video that covers the cheat code section and that one level. Because why the hell not? Right? Anyway, there's the remote. I'm going away now, bye. Yeah, um probably should have spliced this footage a bit better together. But I think I also want to show off how you get out of here, so I think that's also a thing. But uh yeah. I'm surprised how well I've managed to help hold myself up. By just spouting nonsense for about, what is it, 19 minutes now? Well, actually, it's been 18 minutes and 40 plus seconds because that bit at the beginning was not part of the same thing. That's why the audio got cut off, see? So, yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, um, you know, I don't want to beat around the bush. After Gex 2, my next actual LP is probably going to be Sonic Colors, which is probably going to take a little bit longer past the fiddling with the capture card because I got to... You know, hmm, what's the word? Plan out how to do the Chaos Emeralds thing, so that's a factor. That's gonna be fun. Yay. Uh, I hopefully plan to get Undertale. I'm not making promises, but I hopefully plan to get Undertale started before the game turns four years old, which, Jesus Christ, the game is about to turn four years old in a few months. That's, oh boy. Um, and also, 
you know, append initial Deltarune reaction to the end of that, because that's the thing. Anyway, and now we're back here. Remember this My part that happened Pale. just like two minutes ago? I yeah, we're back here again. Why? Because, uh, yes. Actually, I think what I was doing here was I was struggling to find the secret mode. Which I do, but not now and not here. So, fair. That's a thing. And I was so close too, only swim- if I only swam up just a wee bit more, I would've gotten it. Yeah, so the secret mode in this level is actually hidden at the very tippity top of this room here. Why? I don't know. It doesn't- it feels like it doesn't want you to go up any higher, but it does. And it, you- you will be allowed to. And you can kill the shark, which explodes into, uh, you know, drops, because of course it does. Video games are interesting, I tell you. Anyway. So, I think that's about all I can cram in. Regarding stuff and things and things and stuff. Jellyfish. That's how you know you're on the right one. My tail's gonna kick your butt. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> oh, Gex, you're having a fit there, aren't you? So, yeah. That's a thing. Also, did you like that password I put it in earlier, which was just screaming? Or that save I put it in earlier, which was just screaming? I think I'm like, do I save? Do I want to save? And then I'm like, hmm. Let me think about that. Yes. Anyway, only one more Licking remote to- way to the Only one more remote left to get, and it's the Archer's one. Which you've seen before. Because I left in the footage, because I'm a dumbass. But hey, at least this time, you get to see the cool intro sequence, wow. Yeah, it's not really that cool at all, actually, I lied. So, yeah, what we gotta do, we gotta swim through the arches. And it's really easy, because except for the one, uh, there's one in the middle, and then the other two are on the opposite ends of the map, so, ta-da! But yeah, if I were to offer any vice for about this version, and playing through this level, uh, just mash the button that allows me to do this. I've already forgotten what it is, but trust me, just keep mashing that button. I think it's the B button on the controller? I want to say it's the B button, because that sounds right. Whatever button is the attack button, because then you do this spin dash through the water, and that kills enemies and also gives you what I feel like is a tiny boost in movement, but it probably isn't, and it's probably just an illusion, and I'm going insane. Such is my name. By the way, Shark! there's a sign, it says a funny thing. It says that there's a wreckage of the Titanic. I think I pointed, I think I stopped and looked at it earlier, so I can snag it for the thumbnail, but at the same time, uh, I've already forgotten if I did do that or not, so that's a thing. Oh yeah. Uh, was there something else I meant? Did I go off on a tangent and forget to end it properly? I don't feel like I have. Although you people in the comments can tell me if I have. Because I probably have. I get the feeling I have. Gotta love it when the, the you're just a slight bit off screen and then everything is immediately cold. Just out. Get rid of it. Goodbye. Actually, not a lot of tail later, Gax. This is almost the end of the part, you big silly. Uh, and yeah, so you can access that level at the beginning of the game if you weren't able to tell, because yeah, I just unlocked Gilligix out by doing the three red remotes on that level. Pretty amazing. And back into the level I go. Why did I do that? Pardon my tongue, darling. Anyway, do a fade cut back to this section that you've seen three times now, so I can show you how to get the hidden remote. Or the secret remote. Or the remote 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 remote. Uh, because yeah, like I said, I was in the right room, I just didn't go up high enough. Because this thing does have a ceiling. And... There it is! Yay! My and at the same time, I'm like, can I just exit the level? And just have the remote that way? And I believe the answer was yes. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that again. I'll go down to stats. Now I'm like, I have to go all the way down from the top. That's dumb. So, yep. 
thankfully you can just exit the level without, you know, having to swim monotonously to the exit again. But anyway, that's basically it. There's nothing else to do here. I mean, granted, I could have been smart, looked up some cheat codes and put them in to show them off now, but I'm not, and I didn't, so I'm dumb. Just deal with it. I guess. Normally I would for this kind of thing, but uh... Ran out of time to kill. And good, it'll do it from Gex 3, because I actually play Gex 3 a hell of a lot more. And I kind of prefer that one in a few areas, save for that one level that cucks you out of getting the Golden Fly Silver Remote. If you somehow manage to destroy an obstacle in such a way that the item just clips through the floor, never to be seen again. But other than that, I like that game a lot more. <laughs> so, you know, that's a thing. Anyway, next time let's play Gex Enter the Gecko. I'm going to be back in this spot, but instead, it'll be in a much better quality because we're going back to the PlayStation version. And we're going to be tackling, after we get the secret remotes in the first two levels, uh, the secret tapes in the first two levels, we're going to be tackling Mazed and Confused. So until then, see you later, and goodbye. Welp.